What's up everybody, this is Philip, and today I wanna to show you the joys of warping with Ableton Live. Two reasons you wanna start warping your tracks in Ableton Live. One, uh, worship leaders, you can change the key on the fly. You warp your tracks and you come in and you can't hit that high note anymore, so you need to go a half step down. Um, or uh, let's say you have the original tracks uh, to a song uh, that's in the key of C and you've just never been able to sing in the key of C. So you warp it to G, you go five semitones down with just a tiny bit of work done on the front end to make sure your tracks are warped properly. Second reason is you want to change the tempo of a song on the fly, but you still want to use your tracks. So to give you an idea, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here. Center my life, key of C. One, two, one, two, three, four. So that's the original key of C, but let's say you want to sing it in B, we'll go a half step down. When you do it in the middle of the song, it's really weird, but imagine starting the song in this key. Let's say you want it in G. Okay. So that is warping um, to transpose. Um, it's the same process either way, but now we're just gonna play the song. One, Let's say two, you want it to one, be two, three, um, a little bit slower, okay? So you go to the master tempo, and it's following you as you go down. Everything is still hitting at the right time. Okay, you can change tempo, you can change the key of the song. Now let's talk about how you actually warp stuff to where you're able to do that. Okay, so I've cleaned up the Ableton scene, I've taken out all of the tracks, and now we are going to add them back in. And we have a vocal sample that actually sounds like a dolphin. And so once those are all in there, um, we can check it out, see what it sounds like. One, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, one. Sounds pretty crazy. So right off the bat, um, you need to go to your count in, deselect loop, you don't want it to continue to loop, and then warp uh, is fine. Segment BPM, um, it looks like it actually found it. So a lot of the times what happens when you push warp, Ableton will try to calculate the segment BPM. When you warp, it's extremely important that you actually know the native BPM, the tempo of the song. Uh, you need to know the, the tempo that the tracks are recorded to because you have to tell Ableton um, this track was recorded at 71 beats per minute so that it warps it correctly. Um, and while we're here, so you hit warp, you type in the actual tempo of the song um, and then you want to make sure complex is is picked you want to make sure that high quality is on and that is should be if if all of your tracks you know hit record at the same time and they have the same starting point um, then your tracks now should be properly warped just by doing those few things so you hit warp type in the Segment BPM, high quality, um, make sure it loops off, uh, make sure that complex is on, and then we'll just do that for all of this work. Uh, and you know it would be easy, easier, what we can do is go ahead and rename this Center My Life, and then we can do 71 beats per minute, um, and then we can do 4-4, four, four, and I think, one. okay, so that, by doing that, Adding you know 71 BPM that lets able to know hey whenever I hit this scene I want you to change the master tempo to whatever I have set right here. So you do that and now it's up here in the master tempo. So now whenever we warp our stuff it will actually refer to the master tempo. So that's just an easy way. And then complex is selected so we warp it goes to 71. We warp it it goes to 71. We warp it here it goes to 71. Everything is warped. Everything is ready to go. Everything should now 
um, play properly and actually be warped to where we can change the keys and we can change the tempos on the fly. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Ooh, that is very loud, Dolphin. Okay, we're gonna change tempo. Okay, go back up. We're gonna try to transpose. Oh, we don't need to do percussion. Transpose. And you'll hear some artifacts, some noise in the actual uh, audio when you're making changes in the middle of the song. If most of the time, if you have the changes already set, so for instance, you you want to play it in um, you want to play it in B, it's ready to go. Um, as long as you don't change it in the middle of the song, you you shouldn't have any of that noise happening. Also, keep in mind that um, doing this warping all of your samples will use a lot more of your CPU. Um, so this is your CPU load meter, and you can watch this to see how much of uh, your CPU it's using whenever you do this. One, two, so it just one, jumps up two, three, right off the bat and you can watch it. I've never had a problem um, with this computer with Ableton crashing, uh, but that is something to look out for if, uh, if this jumps up really high. Mine never really goes over, I've never seen it go over 20. One other small detail is uh, I wouldn't try to transpose really far away in either direction. If you are going to be going um, a far distance away from the original um, key, then you can use Complex Pro, and that gives you two more options. You can you can uh, adjust the formants and the envelope. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works, but I do know that you can adjust it if, um, to make it sound better. So yeah, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment, let me know, and I will try my best to help you. Thanks for watching, guys.